It is a benchmark, a paradigm of food logistics. 570,487 square feet, almost 20,000 SKUs in the entire assortment. 350 employees separate dry goods and fresh food areas. The new Edeka Logistics Center in Lomsberg am Lech is one of the four major distribution centers of Edeka in southern Bavaria. The distribution center started productive use in 2013 and is currently supplying more than 1,200 stores in the entire delivery area of Edeka in southern Bavaria. 400 of those markets are directly located in the region. State-of-the-art logistics designed and realized by general contractor Vitron Every day, up to 70 trucks arrive at the Edeka Logistics Center in Lonsberg. Their destination, the inbound area, which is the start of a highly efficient logistics process. At the entrance gate, every driver receives a pager that guides him or her to the right inbound dock. Edeka employees control and support the inbound process. Drivers induct their load at one of 10 loading points where the system verifies quantity and quality of the shipment. It identifies also automatically the weight, size, and type of the respective SKU. The system allows only undamaged pallets and pallets that are within the weight and overhang limits of the conveyor system. In addition, the packaging of the goods must comply with specific requirements. The automatic inbound control provides all pallets with an inventory label. These pallets are then brought to the High Bay Warehouse. Damaged or unsuitable pallets are rejected by the system. New cases or cases not known to the system are weighed, measured, and tested before they can be stored in the high bay warehouse and efficiently picked at a later point of time. The High Bay Warehouse, the link between inbound and picking, it receives all pallets from the inbound area, stores them, and provides them for picking according to the customer's order. Based on the characteristics of each case, the system decides how each case is going to be picked. A total of more than 310,000 cases on a peak day. One picking process is called CPS, the car picking system, especially used for bulky and large cases. The products are provided directly from the high bay warehouse to the CPS warehouse. Nine stacker cranes are used for fully automated pick front replenishment. Through the pick by voice process, the system guides the operator on an optimized path to the right aisle, location, and to the correct case. Based on a pre-calculated logic, the pickers load case by case of each order into pallets or roll containers. In the CPS warehouse, the operator also picks pallets with a smaller amount of cases as well as quarter and half pallets, so-called display pallets. Once the order is completed, the employees stretch wrap the pallet or roll containers, provide them with a label and send them towards the automated dispatch buffer or to the automated consolidation in the OPM.
Another picking process is called DPS, the Dynamic Picking System, especially used for small pieces and high value items like tobacco products. The sophisticated conveyor system provides the pallets from the high bay warehouse where they have been stored after receiving. The employees at the six repack stations sort the articles into single item DPS boxes. The ergonomic workstations make this process a lot easier. Packaging waste is collected via conveyor belt and disposed separately. The single item totes are controlled by the system and transported into the 42.7 feet high DPS warehouse for intermediate storage. These totes appear again in two picking aisles. This ensures an automated replenishment that is perfectly geared to match the order structure. Employees at the 12 workstations pick these units from the DPS totes into order totes. The pick by light process shows the picker the location and the quantity of all units to be picked. Removal is confirmed by pushing a button. The system enables customized combinations of product groups. All completed totes are automatically weighed by the system. If they differ from the target weight, they are transported to the so-called clearing station, where the quantity and weight are exactly checked and where the number of units is corrected, if necessary. According to the customer's requirement, finished totes are closed, provided with a label, stretch wrapped, and transported to stacking. The stacked totes are automatically placed onto pallets or roll containers, secured and transported on the conveyor system towards the automatic dispatch buffer or to the OPM for automated consolidation. The primary picking process is called OPM, the order picking machinery. It is the third and the most efficient picking system within the facility. The first step, the stretch wrap removal from the pallets coming from the high bay warehouse, the only manual process within the fully automated OPM process. The five depalletizers lift the cases layer by layer from the pallet onto the conveyor belt which continues to transport each case separately. The order volume for the depalletizers is linked directly to the current customer orders. Conveyor belts located underneath provide empty trays for the so-called tray merge process used to transport the cases. The additional identification of each case within the OPM process is ensured through the tray. The cases on the tray are then transported into a 75.5 feet high OPM warehouse for intermediate storage. When the orders are ready to be picked, the cases are retrieved from the OPM warehouse, sorted via sequence buffers, arranged, aligned, and transported via conveyor belt to the 14 picking machines, comms, where they are automatically placed onto roll containers or pallets. Every pick order has an individual stacking algorithm that determines the sequence of the incoming cases. This guarantees store-friendly faultless picking, high packing quality, and optimal use of the load carrier. Additional stability is given through the so-called slip sheets. Reminiscent of Tetris, it is a complex calculation and highly innovative masterpiece of engineering developed by Vitron. It saves a great amount of space, time, and money in the entire logistics process. Shortly before the cases are supplied to the comm, they are separated from their trays by a pin lift. The trays are then provided for new cases via the conveyor system. The pallet is then transported over the conveyor network system to one of the two automatic stretch wrappers. The picking process is completed. Provided with a label, these finished orders are now also transported to the automated dispatch buffer.
Whether it concerns CPS, DPS, OPM picking, or multi-consolidated units, all completely packed pallets and roll containers arrive here in the dispatch buffer. This buffer is the first of its kind worldwide, combines all functional areas to one highly efficient overall system, a buffer and sorting warehouse that contains more than 3,000 locations serviced by four stacker cranes. The cases are now ready for loading. The employees have individually scheduled the trailers for the daily shipments and define the respective loading times in the route scheduling system. The drivers will find all information needed on the shipping papers, such as location, quantity, and type of their load. Depending on the specified loading time, the buffer warehouse in the dispatch area automatically provides the pallets and roll containers in a route-optimized manner, and even mixed on a staging lane. Consequently, the drivers can immediately start the loading process without any waiting period. Faultless loading is ensured through scanning. Once the trailer is fully loaded, the orders are transported to the Etica stores, currently about 400 locations that are directly supplied with goods from the Lonsberg Distribution Center. Moreover, up to 10 trailers supply three other locations of Etica in southern Bavaria with central warehouse goods using the cross-dock process. For that purpose, the logistics center in Lomsburg am Lech has a carpool of more than 40 vehicles available. By the way, the carpool of Etica in southern Bavaria rolls almost 24 hours a day. The supply of the dry goods to the markets is done during the day and the perishable goods are delivered at night. Besides completely packed pallets and roll containers, empty transport devices drive through the system as well. They arrive here from the empties area. The empties area is used to collect pallets, roll containers, deep freeze containers, and deposit cases. The individual storage units are sorted and repaired if necessary. For the dry goods warehouse, pallets, roll containers, and DPS totes are returned into the system through the conveyor system. The Edeka Central Warehouse in Lonsberg on Lech, a highly efficient and state-of-the-art logistics center. However, it is not only the modern machines and sophisticated process that make the system so special, but also the people who work here. They coordinate and monitor the system, verify the goods in stock, take care of the route scheduling, the order processing, the planning and picking, and of questions and feedback of customers. The Vitron on-site team ensures high system availability, while Edeka's own repair department maintains and repairs the trailers. The car wash ensures a clean presence. All work together for one goal, to offer only the best and freshest products to the Edeka customers, on time, complete, and reliable. <laughs>